I was new to Muesli at the beginning of 2022, and now that it is December of 2022, I decided to shoot a Muesli update video to let you know what I am currently using for my melasma. Do I still like their products? And how is my melasma looking these days? Please keep watching. Hi, and welcome to Invest in Your Face. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I'm a registered nurse, and I started this channel to share ways I manage my melasma. If this type of content interests you, please subscribe. Now, for anyone who is not familiar with Muesli, it is a company that offers online consultations with dermatologists from the comforts of your own home or wherever you are, and they also have pharmacists to fill custom prescription compounded treatments fresh and they ship them directly to you in the u.s now before i get started i want to quickly recap my muesli routines up until now and i will link all my previous videos of my skincare routines and products uh, below for you to check out if you want more information now i initially started with the spot cream m plus which has the highest percentage of hydroquinone mine was formulated with hydroquinone 12 percent tretinoin 0.05%, kojic acid 6%, niacinamide 2%, and hydrocortisone 2.5%. And as recommended by my muesli dermatologist, I switched to a formula without the hydrocortisone after eight weeks. And as most dermatologists recommend, and what research supports, I stopped and took a break also from the hydroquinone after three to four months to avoid any potential uh, side effects from long-term use. Now to help maintain any fading and help minimize flare-ups for the next two months, I switched to the Spot Cream HQ Free or Hydroquinone Free. It's formulated with azelaic acid 20%, kojic acid 6%, niacinamide 2%, and vitamin C 1%. Now I did go back for another round of the Spot Cream uh, with HQ 12% uh, formulation, that time with uh, for only eight weeks, then back to the HQ free for another couple of months. Now, many people have opinions and comfort levels with using such a high percentage of hydroquinone or any hydroquinone at all. And I had mentioned in a previous video, I hesitated with the 12%, but at the time I was willing to give it a try with hopes that it could improve the appearance of my most stubborn melasma, the above the lip area. Now I was pleased with my results, um, especially after that second round. I decided to take a break at that point from Muesli, that was in September. And I went back to my non-hydroquinone morning and evening uh, routine with multiple steps, uh, many of which I talk about in a previous video that I will, as I mentioned, link below. They include many of the tyrosinase inhibitors that target the many pathways that result in hyperpigmentation. Which brings me to now. I am back to using Muesli. I think fall and winter is always the best time of the year to do more aggressive treatments like applying hydroquinone, a higher dose of tretinoin, trying peels, and in some cases in office procedures like lasers, mainly because we are not getting as much daylight sun exposure. But I did not feel my melasma needed to go back up to that hydroquinone 12% and at the same time not quite ready to go down to 2 or 4%. So I was prescribed 6%. And if you've seen some of my older videos, you know that I have used 6% and other compounded creams in the past. I've been very pleased with it. And as you can see, I shot this clean face before getting ready to shoot today's video. I don't have uh, any shots to show you before I actually started this spot cream but I am happy with how it has maintained the fading of the melasma on the sides of my face. The upper lip area I think is looking good, but it is always going to be my most stubborn area. And for me, this looks pretty good. And most importantly, I feel comfortable with it, which is really the true test, right? The test of finding myself more often than not comfortable with leaving the house with tinted sunscreen only, and maybe also a, a, a touch of foundation or concealer. I hope everyone can get to that point with their melasma. This muesli spot cream is called Nurture, and it's formulated with the hydroquinone 6%, niacinamide 2%, and vitamin C 1%. I use one pump in the evening and apply it to the areas of my melasma only. This formulation does not contain tretinoin like my prior formulations, and I like it better, which I will get to in a bit. But the combination is very beneficial for fading hyperpigmentation, uh, dark spots, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and of course, melasma. Now, just as hydroquinone is the gold standard for hyperpigmentation, 
Tretinoin is the gold standard for fine lines. Used in combination with hydroquinone, uh, this prescription strength vitamin A derivative, the tretinoin, uh, can be an effective combination with hydroquinone targeting the overactive melanocytes while tretinoin accelerating turnover and improving the effectiveness of hydroquinone. Now together, they help to target those stubborn melasma patches. Most people use tretinoin, of course, for its anti-aging benefits, and Muesli offers a prescription anti-aging night cream that I have added to my routine so that I can continue with it in my routine whether I am using a hydroquinone product or not. Mine is formulated with tretinoin 0.05%, niacinamide 4% and hyaluronic acid 0.5%. A small pea size amount is all I use each evening after the spot cream. I just dot it all over my face and gently rub it in and truly it feels like you would need to apply more. How could such a tiny amount be doing anything? But I trust the science and I trust the dermatologist with that recommendation. Now I don't want to defeat the purpose of adding it by causing irritation that would trigger my melasma. Uh, and then I just follow it up with a really good moisturizer. I actually have been preferring hydroquinone and tretinoin to be in separate products because if there are times for whatever reason my skin is irritated or dry, I can easily take a break for a night or two from a tretinoin and or hydroquinone as needed. Remember, minor irritation can be a side effect from any ingredient that you use in skincare and makeup, but it can be a common side effect with hydroquinone and tretinoin. So it's important when managing melasma to adjust as needed. And another thing I wanna mention is that when I'm using these multi-ingredient products, so nicely formulated by Muesli just for me, uh, it helps simplify my routine because my morning routine is just cleanse, moisturizer, and of course, sunscreen. And in the evening, cleanse, spot cream, night cream, and moisturizer, that's it. So this can also be more budget friendly compared to using multiple individual products and steps to get all the ingredients beneficial, not only for your melasma, but also your overall skin health. So that's my current skincare routine and muesli update. Definitely, if you are interested in incorporating hydroquinone and or tretinoin into your routine and you wanna give muesli a try, can, consider checking in with a, one of their dermatologists to see what is recommended for your skin. There is a 60 day money back guarantee. I have never had to go down that route because I have uh, been pleased with the products and I'm realistic about results. Nothing is going to be a miracle cure. If you are looking for that, sadly, you will be disappointed. So stay consistent with your routine. Be patient. Feel good about the fading that you do experience. Avoid triggers that could result in flare-ups as best you can. Um, don't be hard on yourself because melasma can be, um, I don't know, it can seem like it has a mind of its own. But if you are not happy with what you are currently using, then definitely talk with a dermatology provider in your area or consider a company like Muesli. And always, if nothing else, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I'm going to be shooting a new video about sunscreens. I have been using some new to me sunscreens for quite a few months and I wanted to give it a fair amount of time before talking about them in a video. I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Share it with anyone who may benefit. And as always, I wish you all good health and thank you for taking the time to invest in your face. Bye.